Hello everyone! And welcome to Pirate 101. Okay, so the last last episode I ended farming Johnny Ringo. I love the Beatles. Uh, yes. Okay, I've I farmed Johnny Ringo. I was trying to get some um, some decent some half decent gear. I actually did get one one really good piece, and that is this. Marshall Stetson, which I actually stitched with uh, a hat from the Bazaar. Scoundrel's hat. It's just kind of a ratty looking pirate hat, so I, I, I like it. It looks really cool. And you'll also notice I have I have some I have some better drip as well. Um I I'm still using the same robe statistics wise, but I just stitched it with this from the bazaar. Now I believe these robes are for like buccaneers or something. Um buccaneers and privateers. But they, they really fit with a musketeer well, because they, they really remind me of, you know, uh, cowboy, but more like more like a movie cowboy or whatever. Like, uh, well, I don't know if he was actually a cowboy. He was like a like a bounty hunter. I don't know. I, I haven't seen the movie, but it's the um, it's the really famous Clint Eastwood one where it's, I think it's the guy with no name, the man with no name or something like that uh, from the Dollars Trilogy. Looks a lot like that. Also, looks quite a bit like McCree from Overwatch. Um, oh man. And then these boots, I just picked these up from the bazaar, and they, they just look really cool. I dyed them red, too, so they fit well with the with the top. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of this look that I got going on. And uh, in farming Johnny Ringo for some gear, I tried to get some, some good boots. I, I'm trying to get some decent boots, because these, I think these, uh, these boots are okay, right? They give Valor Shield, which is, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's, it'll help you. It'll help you, but it's not, like, super necessary or useful at this point. Especially since I got the uh, Marshall Stetson hat, which is just better. Okay, so the reason why Valor's armor is so good is because it essentially is, like, a heal, but, like, more than double. At least that's how I look at it. Um, you can also use it to kind of protect somebody in advance, you know? A heal is, like, your insurance, but... A Valor's armor is like an investment almost, um, but yeah, it it accounts for m way more damage than a heal. A heal is still useful, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah. But now, but now that I have Valor's armor, I don't really need these boots anymore. But I, yeah, I just got uh, some random cool-looking boots from the bazaar. Hopefully, I'll get I'll be able to get some half-decent boots. I was trying to get uh, boots that give the card artillery. Which is just a slightly better version of gunnery. I think it does the same damage, but it has chance to it has a chance to like add fire to the map or something, um, which is okay. But you know, I w I just want a, a good item card in my uh, boot slot. But as for weapons, I actually did get quite a few of Ringo's revolvers. It took me a while to actually get them as a drop. It took a few runs. I did a lot of them. I think I added the uh, the farming thing to the playlist. I think it actually got copyright claimed because I accidentally. Uh, unmuted the audio while I was listening to music. That's usually what I'm doing in the background while the audio is muted. Um, if I could figure out a way to just like record the audio of the game, I probably would do that, but honestly I'm just lazy, so I just mute the desktop audio and listen to whatever. Um, but yeah, I got, I got like five of these. I got like five of the pistols. I, I sold a few of them, but I have a few in my bank. They look really cool. They're like cartoonishly big pistols. They're, they're kind of insanely big. They're probably the biggest uh, pistols in the game. At least from what I... Well, biggest, like, regular-looking pistols besides, like, fantasy stuff. Or, like, crossbows or, um... They're, they're the... They're the... I guess, yeah, they would be the biggest pistols, right? There are other, like, shooty weapons that are probably bigger, but... They look kind of... They, they look pretty goofy. They kind of look like, um... Almost... They kind of look like almost foam pistols, if you know what I'm talking about. Like, they look like fake uh, prop pistols that, like, a 10-year-old a would use at his birthday party that's themed around cowboys or something. But I like them. They're they're noticeable. There's also these that are from the bazaar. They're a bit less uh, goofy looking, but they're pretty small. They do they do way more damage. They have the same range, but the reason why Ringo's revolvers are good is because they give a rank of Overwatch. Um as for my eye patch, it's still the same. Um, Master Smuggler's mask. This extra critical it gives one percent extra critical. Which I, I guess could help you out. Um, but it doesn't really matter that much. I, I pretty much just wear it because it looks cool. I, if I wanted to be, like, 
mo the most efficient, I'd probably be using this one. That gives a Triton Song card. But, you know, I barely use that Triton Song. I mean, I, I would probably use it if I was, like, if all my companions were dead or something, or if I was doing, like, a really hard fight. But I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really need it unless I'm doing, uh, unless I'm doing like a PvP match or something, which I have done a couple of them. But I, I might record one eventually. But I, I'm only, I would only record it if I'm like playing against somebody that, yeah, you know, actually has like as good of gear as as I do. Um, but for trinkets, it's still the same. Got uh, Rouse, weapon mastery, really solid. Um. Amulet. It's, it's called Charms. There's Totems. Char I think it's called Amulet in Wizard 101. My Charm is uh, Sniper Shot, Critical Mastery. Sniper Shot is absolutely broken. I think it should be nerfed or changed significantly, to be honest, because they're just it's just too freaking good, dude. Um, I, I think I've said it before, but what it should be is your character kind of standing still and then slowly aiming their gun and then shooting. It shouldn't be like a free critical, you know? Um... That's what it should be. It should still be infinite range, but it should be it should do slightly less damage, um, and shouldn't count as a critical. That's what it should be. But it's basically a free infinite range super hit, which is just insanely good. You could literally just use this until max level and be completely fine. And then I have uh, the same. I have the same card, but um, a different grant. I have Sniper Shot and Mojo Mastery. That's really handy, getting the extra spell power. Now, that's not super important right now, but spell power does affect the effectiveness of any of your non-weapon-related abilities, pretty much. So, Valor's Armor is affected by spell power. I believe Cloud Trap is affected by spell power as well. Stuff like Ghost Whale and Gunnery. Um, they're also affected, and heals, obviously. Um, anything that doesn't use your weapon uh, is going to be affected by spell power. I'm not even sure. Maybe, like, the health of your barricade is affected by spell power. I'm not really sure about that one, but... Man, I can't wait till barricade gets better. It did get a little bit of a visual upgrade. Or I think it got a little bit of, a, of an upgrade at one point, but... Yeah, I don't know. Um, hold on. Right. Mamma mia. Just uh, went to take care of something and then uh, <laughs> took a whiz. Anyways, what was I saying about the barricade? Yeah. It did get a little bit of an upgrade, I think, because it used to look like, um, I don't know what you call those, but they're like spike fences. And now it's like an actual barricade. But it eventually does actually get bigger, and it, place, it starts to place more barricades. <clears throat> um, mount, still using the Prancing Pony. If they ever have a mount sale... I definitely want one. Of, they're actually having a sale in a Smuggler's Arena. That's like a late game dungeon, or it's like a it's sort of a challenge dungeon actually. Uh, I've never actually done it. Um, but yeah, anyways, if they have a, if they have a mount sale, I kind of I I I've, I've said that, but. I want I want the parrot just because it looks cool, but yeah I think I, I'm okay with just using the horse every day to be honest because it's cheap and uh, it looks cool and it fits with um, fits with Cool Ranch for one and you actually can't get a permanent version of this horse specifically because the the permanent version of the horse in the crown shop it has like yellow hair I don't even I think they've been like getting rid of a lot of items in the crown shop because there used to be like the transport column, they only have the seven day version. They used to have a permanent version. Um, hold on, the pony. They don't have the permanent pony. What? No way. Why have they just been like getting rid of items in the crown shop? Is that like a glitch or is that intentional? That's so weird. Why? <laughs> Um, I guess if I'm going to buy a mount, I probably should buy one now, because the, these two are half off, which is a pretty good deal. Um, but they're not really my favorite looking, so, eh, don't really, don't really need them. Oh. And I didn't just farm Johnny Ringo, I farmed a few other, a few other guys. I farmed Finn Dorsal for a bit, didn't really get anything. Um, I, well... 
I think I got this hat from Finn Dorsal that gives gunnery, but I'm I'm gonna be using the Marshall Stetson, I think. Just because it's that Valor's armor is is really useful. Um I did get this. I was farming this guy on the Skyway, because he apparently drops those uh artillery boots as well, but I think that's pretty decent, gives an extra cyclone round. But I'll probably get rid of those eventually. Um I think I farmed a couple of people in the uh, the uh, Isle of Doom area because they all they also drop um, uh, the I, these boots called the Boots of Shadows and they give they give a walk in shadows. Which uh, speaking of that, I um, actually trained that. I trained a few things. I had like three practice points, I think. So what I did was I trained Rouse, because I didn't actually have it trained before, because I had a piece of gear that gave it. So I think I might as well just sell this one, because I'm going to be using Valor's armor. Um, I think I'll sell both of these. Um, how many housing items to sell? Oh, I guess um, I did get this pet to level 30. I still have to hatch with that uh, guy again. Goodbye. Marine's hat. You've served me well. Um, anyways, uh, I reorganized my powers quite a bit. Now I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way they're turning out. But yeah, I trained Walk in Shadows, which requires you to get Sneak Attack, which I can't actually use, unless I am unless I have a melee equipped. Um, but you need, you need to train that to get Walk in Shadows. And really useful ability, uh, it allows enemies to not target me, or, you know, know that I'm there, and my damage is doubled. So, if you can time it right, it's pretty good. I have it up there because it would be... It's, it's kind of like one of those utilities. I have these at the top because they're, like, they're different options, you know? I like having a bunch of different options right away. And then I have the Valor's Armor and the heels lower because, to me, like... You don't really need those right away. I mean, it's a good thing to have in your hand as like a precaution, but you shouldn't be needing heals right away. That's kind of a mid-game or a late-game thing. But I have barricades because it's a it's a handy ability to have. It's not like the most powerful thing, but I mean, if you get the right spawn location and you have it in your hand, you can it can be really good, especially if you're using um, Louis Le Bisque. You can combine it with a trap and uh, like basically block off an area. Um, and then I have Trap as well to do pretty much the same thing. The, uh, the AI and their movement is pretty easy to learn, and they're, they're not very smart, so they'll pretty much just walk right into traps if you put them in the right place. And then Walk in Shadows, I'll pretty much use that first turn if I don't have any other options. But, uh, I, I use Gunnery first turn if the enemies are all kind of grouped up nicely. And then I also have Ghost Whale. I don't necessarily need to put this that far up, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, maybe I could reorganize this, actually. I could put my, um, thing over there. Well, I, I like having Ghost Whale, because it's not, like, it doesn't connect with my shooting stuff, but it does about the same damage as a sniper shot. You know, so I, I won't trigger a double tap. So it, it is useful, and it's nice infinite range. I don't know. It's it's not like necessary. I don't, I don't think. Well, it, it is a, u a useful thing to have. You know, an extra. It's an extra solid hit. But um, I probably could put my other stuff over here. Like, let's see. Like with this. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. That's how. That's the other way I would, I would organize it, but I don't know if it really matters. It's not like a super huge deal. <clears throat> yeah, I like it like this. It, it looks nice and organized. But yeah, I trained Walking Shadows, and I also trained Rouse. I trained Rouse. Um, because I'd got I'd gotten rid of my uh, hat. I gave Rouse. So now I now I have two heals and 
One's from the totem. So yeah, I, I'm doing pretty good. But I did quite a bit of farming, and the only real useful things I got was the hat and the weapon. Don't know if I'll be using this for a long time, because the damage is pretty low, and so is the range. Um, I'm going to try and get a, uh, a weapon with four range. I don't know when the next one you get is, but... Because that extra range is really handy. But luckily, you know, I um, there's that quest that gave extra range. So I do have four. But getting getting five range, that's just crazy early on. But the extra rank of Overwatch is really useful against uh, guys trying to come up with melee. You know? And uh, speaking of that, I used, I used these three companions for uh, farming this guy in uh, the Plundered Tunnels, I think. But he didn't really drop anything, unfortunately. So I'll put my com I'll sort my companions again. I like having Wing Chun, Bonnie Ann, and Ratbeard, or maybe maybe Bonnie Ann first, I think. I kind of like ranking my uh, guys how I would actually rank them as a captain. Um. So to me, I'll probably put Chantel under Old Scratch because all of these companions, these six companions, they have uh, dialogue in the story. So I kind of I, I value those most, I think. Um, even though I don't really like using Old Scratch. Also, Milo Greytail gets a promotion at level 21, I think. But I'll uh, I'll wait until I'm level 25 to level them all up. I should probably. Uh, it, look up in advance like what you have to do for his promotion because I, th I think what you have to do is you do have to go to cool go back to cool ranch um, I think by my strategy right now is working working decently enough um, it's just constantly keeping a marker in cool ranch and just teleporting back to skull island when I need to it's pretty simple anyways the uh, I'll head to Cooper's roost which is where I've marked in terms of the story I got a, I got a friggin' get my boost up. I'll take a stagecoach to Bison Village. Guess I could put the music on and the dialogue too. Man, the music is good. Anyways, re, uh, re, the, uh, in the last one, rescued, here, I'll, I'll put a marker here, why not? I rescued Meriwether Clark from the, uh, Big Sky Hunters. He was captured because, I think there, there's some kind of feud between them and the, and the, um, claw feed, which are, which is what they call the, um, chickens over on Cooper's Roost. But, uh, I think that they might have blamed the claw feet for what the, um, what the outlaws, the Red Sash, did. Because they were the ones that stole, um, the sacred charms from the bison. The only, the only crime that Meriwether was doing was he was, you know, trespassing on their burial ground. But yeah. I rescued Meriwether Clark because he knows about uh, the location of... A, it might be the whole of Margot Poyo's map or a piece of it. But yeah. The, the reason why we're in Cool Ranch is because um, the person who heard Marco Poyo's last words said that, um... Meriwether Clark... Or not, not Meriwether, it was Christopher. Marco Poyo's navigator held a piece of the map, or held some of the map, um... after Marco Poyo died. And he lives in, in Cool Ranch, which is actually where Marco Poyo was born. Um... So we go to, uh... We go to Cool Ranch, and we don't find Christopher, because he's dead, but we do hear of his son, and he, there's some trouble with him and the bison, so I, I, I solved that. 
gain a little bit of favor with the bison and uh, get into conflict with a gang of outlaws. So I took care of them. And now Meriwether has told me um, that um, while he knows that it's he knows that I'm looking for Marco Pollo's map, and I'm not the only person that's uh, asked for it. Um, but I did I did save his life from the bison, so um, he's he feels indebted to me. So he tells me that the Marco Pollo's map is in the cave under Scorpion Rock in Big Sky Country. So, this is the Big Sky Skyway, and this is the Scorpion Rock Island. And that's where I'm at. Got some nice coffee, too. I'm gonna get one they call it Scorpion Rock, huh? A nice, a nice four-player group chess. That's awesome. Love that. Love seeing that. That was sarcasm. name this place for its looks. The whole cave is crawling with scorpions. Watch your step. Blech. Take care of these bugs. Oh yeah. Okay. Probably not gonna need to hide. 16. Just hit him with that. Bonnie, move up. Hmm. Oh, yeah, let's listen to the music. Cyclone round, Bonnie AoE, Wing Chun move in, Rat hit the roly. Wing Chun is pretty much only going to get better with time, because uh, he doesn't even have Blade Storm 2 yet. He's going to get crazy chains. the Dixie Chick. What's up? Oh, shit. Are you lost, gal? Okay. Ew. those just super hit and go and hit the uh, early poly go, 
Ah, get him, Wing. Easy. Look for my Marco Puyo's map. Hey, hello. This place is spooky. Oh, there's a big scorpion there. Here I spy something under that bone heap. But uh, that big lady scorpion seems to have laid claim to it. Hmm. You can tell it's a lady scorpion because it's pink. Scrap that. Hit him. First strike can repel borders, too. Wow. Um, Wing Chun can go deal with this one, I think. Oh, no, let's move over here, yeah. Wing, move over there. Rat. Yes, Captain. Sure. Yes. 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 At your command. There we go. Post does do more damage than a normal attack. Ouch. I think they just attack Bonnie just because she's like weaker or something, I don't know. Bonnie just seems to get the most aggro from enemies. I guess besides Ratbeard. Uh... Best move is probably to Ghost Veil him. The weakest one. Okay. Yeah. 
I must have a lot of armor or something. Oh, also another great thing about Valor's armor is um, its infinite range. Heals actually have a limited range. Reduce dodge. Hit, hit. This note. Hmm. To the craven coward, Christopher Clark. Alliteration. Marco Pollo sought to hide his precious map from me, but he has failed. Huh. I've taken his ship, his gold, and his map, and now I'll take El Dorado for good measure. This asshole. Sincerely, <laughs> Captain Blood. Sincerely. Okay. Not very nice. I've never heard of Captain Blood. Neither have I. I have. Tis the dark name of a dread pirate with strong mojo. But where to find him or him treasure, I do not know. Sincerely, Captain Blood. I've never heard of Captain Blood. I have. Tis a dark name of a dread pirate with strong mojo. But where to find him or him treasure, I do not know. Hmm. Great. Now we've got another mystery to solve. Clark may know. Go ask him at once. It's a pretty cool cave. Yeah, for some reason there's a friggin' life fountain in almost every location in, in, in uh, Cool Ranch. Like, I don't know why they put a life fountain in Scorpion Rock. But not in, like, Isla de los Muertos, which is an area in the future. Yeah, there, I think there should only really be life fountains in, like, hub areas, you know? Anyway. Go to Cooper's Roost. Man, the stagecoach really makes this world a lot better. Basically, save this world from being a total shit fest. Is there, other than, like, oh my god, it would be so annoying having to sail around all the time. Um, I honestly don't really remember doing uh, this world without the stagecoach very much. I remember doing Cool Ranch a long time ago, but I think they added the stagecoach relatively early, but it wasn't always in the game. So a lot of people hated this world because of how huge it was and how much, you know, sailing you had to do. Which is kind of funny considering it's a pirate game. But, uh, yeah. Stolen! I can't believe it! 
My father buried the map in the first place to keep it away from Captain Blood. Hmm. You gotta get that map back, no matter the cost. Oh yeah, level 25. Let's go. You're good, pirate. But it seems to me it's time to broaden your horizons. Time for another lesson. Well, sadly, I don't know very much about Captain Blood. He was an infamous pirate, but they say he died when I was a boy. Hmm. Blood had a hidden lair somewhere in Cool Ranch, and I don't believe it was ever found. It stands to reason that the map should still be there. Every pirate needs a lair. <laughs> Go talk to Sheriff Cogburn at the jail. He's kept the law in Cooper's Roost for 40 years and may know more about Captain Blood. Hmm. Thanks, Clark. How goes the hunt for Captain Blood's lair? I still think Sheriff Cogburn is the best place to start. Oh, I'll talk to you, old fish eye. What's that? Blood? Well, sure I know of him. That viper sat Cooper's roost twice. Quite the nerve. How am I supposed to know where his hideout is? You think if I'd found Captain Blood's treasure, I'd be here talking to whippersnappers like you? <laughs> no, I guess not. Can't help you. You want to talk to Wild Bill over at the Silver Spur. He knows the ins and outs of Cool Ranch better than anyone. Right. Thanks, Sheriff. I tell you, partner, those pesky buffaloons are running wild, attacking rooster and chick alike. Huh. Any more news? I need me a ruthless buckaroo to spook them buffaloons away. You think you can get the job done? Well, I'm a ruthless buckaroo. You got that right. Yeah, I'll do that for you. You definitely want to talk to this guy for a side quest because he has, like, the best side quest in the game. What are you waiting for? Go get those buffaloons before they hurt anyone else. Really fun. Well, I'll talk to Wild Bill. And the Silver Spur. Ahoy there. Captain Blood. Now there's a name. Years after his death, he still casts a long shadow. Sometimes that's an admirable trait. I've spent my youth looking for Captain Blood's hidden lair, and sadly, I never found it. Same. Well, there's hundreds of legends about Captain Blood. The historian, Argleston, I reckon he's heard them all. He's right over there. Thanks. Hello there. Greetings, young wizard. Uh, 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 pirate! <laughs> I beg your pardon. Old habits and all that. <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> what made you think I was a wizard? Captain Blood, you say? Captain Barnabas Blood is one of the most infamous pirates in history. I have his picture here. Barnabas Blood. <laughs> I get why he goes by his last name. Well, actually, uh, all captains go by their last name. But his is especially good because, you know, his first name is Barnabas. Some say Blood was so evil, death wouldn't claim him. He stole all the gold Marco Poyo brought back from El Dorado and hid it here in Cool Ranch. Hmm. 
I've no idea where Captain Blood's secret lair might be, but confounded things are secret. <laughs> I can think of only one person who might know. The surest method of finding Captain Blood's lair is to find the legendary masked hero who defeated Captain Blood, El Toro. Hmm. Not an easy man to find. El Toro is the protector of Santa Poyo Village. It so happens I have been corresponding with Dr. Diaz, a scientist who lives in Santa Poyo. I'll give you papers that will get you into Santo Poyo Skyway. Would you be so good as to deliver this letter to Diaz for me? Sure. Thanks, Mr. Argleston. Are you ready to sail for Santo Pollo? The sooner you go, the sooner you shall find Captain Blood's treasure. Aye. So I think that guy is uh, the w the librarian of Wizard City is named Harold Argleston. So that guy's likely his brother. Small spiral. Santo Pollo. I don't think I'll be, um... I think I already paid for this chapter, actually, because uh, remember trying to get to get into Bison Village that required a paywall. All right, Santo Pollo Skyway. Oh, <laughs> nope. I think it's a paywall. Saving Santo Pollo. Well, maybe that was another chapter then. Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Pretty small skyway comparatively. Looks like the village is blockaded. Can sail around these guys. Is there another ship for sale? El Toro. Doctor. Good day, traveler. Ah, I see you bring letters from Dr. Argleston. Very good. So, what brings you to our humble village? You seek El Toro? 
enemy of all oppressors, defender of the innocent, El Toro is as mysterious as he is cunning. Whose face is behind the mask? It could be you. It could be me. None can say. Well, I'll tell you, it's not me. If, if I was El Toro, looking for El Toro, I think I might check myself into a, I don't know, a psych ward or a nursing home. Anyways. So I cannot tell you where or how to find El Toro, but there is one who might help. Talk to Friar Cluck at the church. Thanks. How go your investigations? Are you any closer to finding the hero you seek? I assure you, Friar Cluck can help. Have you seen the lightning clouds flare in the skyway? Their danger and beauty fascinates me. Could you set sail and collect some lightning clouds for me? I must study them. Of course. Hurry, grab me some lightning clouds before the skyway clears. My studies are of great importance. As a child, I watched my mother as she rolled her famous tortillas. The smell, the taste... Oh, they were heaven. The banditos strolled into town yesterday and pillaged our food stores. I tried to hide, but they found me clutching my mother's famous recipe. Please, help me honor my mother's memory by taking back some bags of corn flour and her secret recipe. Confront the vile banditos. All right. My mother's secret recipe is in danger. It's in the hands of the banditos. Start by gathering corn flour. One moment. I'm going to look up this quest. Yeah. Pancho, Pancho Cuchillo. I think Cuchillo is like Spanish for knife, I think. I remember that. But it's like kitchen knife. There's t there's a couple of different uh, terms. Toad Trail. Holy crap. So yeah, that's where I guess most of the Skyway would be, is in that area.
just looking on the wiki for uh, quest details. I think I'll collect these lightning clouds first. Should go talk to old fish eye. Haunted Skyway. No go, Captain. Turn around. No go, Captain. Turn around. I'll get these uh, crates too. Then I might go into Cooper's Roost and kill some buffaloon. Trying to find the uh, crates. I might wait to uh, destroy those Bendito ships. Unfortunately, you can't get one of those bandito guys as a companion. Although, you do get one of these guys as a companion. Or, well, I think swashbucklers do.
It's a shame because their animations are cool. Crispy. Nice. Got it. The crate's only here. Hold on. Maybe they're around this. There's one over there. Oh, they're in enemy territory. That's ex that's excellent. Don't really want to. Cause I'm, I'm on fuel. fountain. My mother's recipe is safe and sound, thanks to you. I'm going to whip up a batch of tortillas to celebrate. Excellent. Uh, wonder if I could try some. Got your uh, clouds. Oh, these lightning clouds are more brilliant than I ever imagined. I'm off to study their curious beauty. Great. I've received word from my fellow professors in Wizard City. Mm. They're running low on serpent fangs and have asked me to fetch some from the Skyway. Wizard City. Got them. Mentions of Wizard 101, let's go. <laughs> Wait. So he's working with some people in Wizard City. I have urgent business in my lab, so I need to hire someone to collect the serpent fangs in my place. Would you be willing? Hmm. Maybe. Now you do actually uh, do this for a promotion quest later. I won't be doing that right away. I mean, I could, I could technically do it right now. Yes, Captain. It's for old scratch. Oh, yeah, level twenty-five. I'll get all my companions to uh, level twenty-two. I've just learned of a business opportunity that could be very lucrative. Let's talk in a tavern. That's exciting.
I think I'm gonna fight these, um... fight these snakes. I did get actually a, um, a badge recently. Frontier Fighter. Frontier Fighter. Explore Clark's treasure trove. Scorpion Rock. What's my current badge? Oh yeah, I switched it to Gunslinger. Well, that's that's kind of a boring one. I mean, it fits with what I've with what I'm wearing. Armada's most wanted is probably the coolest one. Snakes. Oh, shit. We got fuel. My nautical level? 25. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yes, Captain. Should do that first. these sky snakes being pretty hard, so I don't want to just run on one companion for that. Let's see. They're level 24? traps.
I'll just hit him with the super hit, I think. Yeah, while I was farming Johnny Ringo, I thought of the idea that uh, Wing Chun, his head isn't magically attached to his head. It's attached. It's attached to his head like a string on a paddle ball. <laughs> Get him. Wing Chun is going to be a chaining god once he gets Bullet Storm Two. I mean, he can already, like, one-shot people. Get him. Okay. Get that. Wait, how much damage is this? 139. Likely that isn't going to kill, but if it doesn't, I'll use my beard. Super hit. <laughs> okay, that's great. Super hit on them. Or, uh, Overwatch? Maybe they were. Oh, whatever. Um. I'm not drawing my heal, which is just fantastic. I think I'll just, uh. Hit this one with the Ghost, ghost Whale. Double tap. First strike super hit, that's that's a big fuck you. But so is that. I have no idea if roly polies can spawn these guys, to be honest. How many oh my god, only two? Fuck. Okay. I might go on the soggy troggy, although I mean I can't get Overwatch. spawn right next to me. Um, that's just not, that's just great. I love that. Love that RNG. Um, well, I guess I can walk in shadows. That'd be a good move. Um, but... How am I holding up? Fine. Super 
super hit. Awesome. I think I, I think he was the guy I talked to talked about like drop rates and shit. I talked about drop rates in in. Oh my god! Why do they keep getting fucking? That's insane! How much damage is that? Like a billion? Fuck you! All right, I'll probably put Valor's armor on your boy. Unless I could probably one shot one of these guys. I'll, I could one shot him. Then get him. Mega hit. What? Okay, I think I just have shit damage. Yeah, I think Rapbeard's dead. Or somebody's dead. Somebody's fucking dead. What the fuck? They just get two super hits on me. That's that's awesome. Your boy's dead. Yeah, I didn't realize my damage was that low. He's dead. Yep, first rat beard death. Wow. That's fucking great. Fuck this stupid fucking kids game, dude. Holy shit. Okay. Don't you fucking yeah yeah me. Get two fucking super hits. Yeah, miss your fucking hit, broad. Okay, there you go. <gasps> Getting mad at a kid's game, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I can do... I, I don't know if I can fight these guys with just two companions, because they're insanely strong. Get fucking two super hits. That's just great. there, pirate. Your crew's wearing thin. You can't feel the full squad till you free some up. Um... I guess I could just wake him up. Yeah. That only increases his time by like four minutes. That's not exactly that bad, but I mean, his health is really shitty when you have that. Although it's only 100. <laughs> okay. No traps. Get rid of that. Um, I think the best idea would just be to put Valor's armor on Ratbeard and uh, hit. Move up here and chain. I think Wing Chun is just going to be insanely good once he gets uh, friggin' Blade Storm 2. Fuck off, will ya? At least they don't have repost.
I'm going to like Wing Chun more, actually. Oh, another great thing about Valor's armor is that it has infinite duration. Yeah, it, uh, its duration is just the damage that you can take. Which is pretty awesome. Okay, probably Ghost Whale him. Double tap. Hit. Hit. <laughs> Get him. I think Riposte does 1.75 times damage. Only problem with Wing Chun is that he has shit accuracy because he's a he's a privateer. There we go. Hopefully that'll be it. Alright, cool. I'm invisible. Let's join somebody's ship. Look alive there! This ain't your ship, pirate. <laughs> Ye can use any docking sigil, but only the one with your flag goes to your ship. Keep an eye out. Wait, can I go in somebody else's cabin? That's kind of weird that you can just go in anybody's cabin. Well, I guess you can. I guess you can limit home to friends. Yeah. There's a spooky ship. Anyway. Uh, got your friggin' serpent fangs. The professors in Wizard City would be grateful for my service to them. You didn't do so bad yourself. Thanks. Might go get more coffee. All right, medical level. I sent a shipment of bottled lightning clouds to the professors in Wizard City, but I've just received word the shipment never arrived. That's great. There's a group of banditos plaguing us with their rabbit thievery. You've confiscated the shipment. Can I hire you to recover those clouds? Sure. Um... There is an instance in the maiden quest later where you have to defeat four... Defeat and collect four bandito ships, so I think I might wait to do that, actually. Um... And now, I think I will... Talk to Milo in the tavern. Or no, I think I'll talk to Friar Cluck. Now you can go back to bed rest. The bass there, pirate! Your crew's wearing thin! You can't feel the full squad till you free some up! General store. La Tienda. <laughs> Pooch beard, hello. Charms. I'll visit the uh, cantina. Gallo Loco Cantina.
Wherever there are wrongs, we are there. Yes, pirate, we're the famous Dos Amigos de Uno. Don't be intimidated by our celebrity. Autograph? No, thanks. You want to be an amigo? <laughs> well, we are flattered. We love our fans. To be <laughs> an amigo, you will need an instrument and a distinguished mustache. Huh. Easy enough. Maybe I could just grab one from any... Maybe I should... Maybe I should just, uh, you know, grab one from you. Start your journey in Banditoed Trail. You can make castanets out of scorpion claws and steal maracas from the banditoes there. All right. I hear the red sash bandits who raid the open skyway have epic mustaches. I'm sure you're suave enough to convince them to part with some. Mm-hmm. Isn't it hard not to stare? Without an instrument or mustache, you will never be a true amigo! The cellar. Right. I've just learned of a business opportunity that could be very lucrative. Let's talk in a tavern. Hey, there's actually music in this cellar. There usually isn't music. What have you got, Milo? Captain, listen to this. Tom Tinkney, old friend of mine, just sent a letter. Seems he needs help getting his new business off the ground. Hmm. I love supporting local businesses. Tom wants to be a young bottler. He says he has some secret process that's going to let him outproduce all his rivals. Interested? He doesn't want us to invest gold. He wants us to help him with more physical problems. Know what I mean? Uh... I don't know about this one, Milo. I don't. I. I don't swing that way. Oh, you mean like beating people up, right? Tom's an old friend, and I owe him the favor. He said we can find him in Leeward Cave on Skull Island. Can we go? Can we? Of course we can, Milo. Actually, I have to talk to Old Fish Eye. Actually, this promotion will just get him to Relentless 2, which will sort of make him on par with Wing Chun, just without the heal. And, you know, he's agility-based, so he'll use agility-based and a um, swashbuckler, so he'll probably be, probably be doing more damage than Wing Chun. But he'd be fun to use. Anyways. You're good, pirate. But it seems to me it's time to broaden your horizons. Time for another lesson. All right. I prefer a good rifle, but a musketeer can't afford to neglect their skill with a pistol. High time you learn to quick draw. Hmm. Good idea. Definitely it'll be useful in Cool Ranch. Lots of, uh... Lots of other guys with guns there. Kind of evens the odds, you know? The best pistol arrows hail from Cool Ranch. Go talk to Mac Draw down in Santa Puyo. He knows more about gunfighting than anyone in the spiral. 
All right. So yeah, the reward for this quest is rain of mortar shells, but you can you can train quick draw right here. So I'm guessing it was intended to originally give quick draw, but I, I don't know. Yes, Captain. I might as well just quickly go talk to him since I have a marker there. Hey. So, you're looking to meet an expert shooter, eh? Well, cool Ranch is known for its famous gunfighters on both sides of the law. Right. Wyatt Chirp, Kid Curry Comb, Baba Louie. They were all great, but I'd never knowed anyone as fast as Marshal Ben Thompson. Huh. Ben's a hermit these days. Lives down at the other end of the Bandito Trail. Quite a ways away. If you go there, be careful. That road's thick with desperados. I think I'm gonna go make some coffee real quick and then talk to Friar Cluck and continue the main storyline. First, actually, I think there's a life fountain in Bandito Gulch. I kind of remember that. Well, huh. maybe I should do this stuff with Tom Tickney first. Yeah. Yeah. I think you have to go back to uh, Cool Ranch for that quest. Can't wait till companions can get to level 35. That's when they get another epic. Ahoy! Yes. Leeward Cave. I believe that's up to there, right? That's where I remember it. More physical problems. <laughs> you could start a little business without my permission, did you? Hey, boys, what say we have some rodent stew for dinner? <laughs> what are you doing here? Milo? Help! No problem. Oh, shit, he's orange. Yes, Captain? Orange! Actually, uh, companions who are busy but you're doing a promotion quest for, they actually, uh, automatic- you have no choice but to use them in battle. So yeah, Buster Crab is an enemy in this quest. Um, Buster Crab actually used to be part of the boss fight uh, where you save... What's his face? I'll buff my agility. Um, move Miss Anne up here. And up there. Up there. He actually used to be uh, the one you fought during the boss fight where you save Captain Gordon. They changed that. He used to look different as well. He has a charge? Damn. Reduced accuracy, that's gonna be great for Wing Chun. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty cool, I kinda wish more enemies used charge. Um... I think the best move would be... Probably Wind Spirit, to be real. 
Either that or I'll put a trap here. Best move would just be to focus on Buster. Buster! <laughs> he has vengeance, right? It's already reduced. At least you didn't activate Tide. Dang. Okay. Um. Miss Fancy Airs and I think critical is actually rolled before accuracy. Soggy Charlie. I thought I read that as Soggy Charlie Gun. I guess Gun is a uh, is actually a surname. Get him. Nah, oh, Bonnie will just kill them all because she's she's just a badass. Uh, I wish the path didn't change when enemies died. That's annoying. So that, that, the, his Overwatch wouldn't have been triggered otherwise. Thank goodness you came along. Those brutes might have ruined everything. Now that I'm free of my <laughs> first investors, I'm ready to move all me materials to me warehouse in Skull Island here. Great. Yum yum fruit, ready. Molasses, good. And me bronze mixing vats. Oh no, they're all slimy. Blasted crabs in their stew. <laughs> I'll have to scour them out again. They must be absolutely clean and the yum is worthless. I need something really caustic. Could you go get me some jellyfish acid from Monquista? Mm -hmm. You know what they say. Lies worth a try, but Icar is quicker. <laughs> oh, Monquista? Dude. Man, these promotion quests have you going fucking everywhere. Kind of annoying, actually. But yeah. <laughs> Lies worth a try, but liquor is quicker, yeah. I think it had something to do with liquor, not icker. Also, it's pronounced Icor. It's pronounced Icor? Okay. Luckily, the uh, jellyfish aren't so strong. Why from Monquista, dude? 
It's the same jellyfish in Tradewind Skyway. Yeah, I'll do it. I don't know if the extra rank of Overwatch is necessarily worth it for the less damage. But eh. Let's see. Oh yeah, level 25, I can get the Monkeeston Crossbows. They got 4 range and that extra damage. Really good. I guess I could, like, pay a hundred crowns to go to Monkisa, but I, I mean, it'll take, like, you know, about five minutes or less to get there, so. But, like, it's a hundred crowns, and that's about ten minutes or so of trivia. Beard is back in commission. <laughs> back to Monquista. It'd be cool if some quests had you killed these creatures in the spiral. But no, I don't think there's any quests that have you do that. Soggy troggy time. Whoa, look at that fuel efficiency. That's just incredible. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay, and the jellyfish are over here. Beautiful Monkeeston music. Oh, don't wanna. Honestly, I might just, like, put on Automate Companions and, like, just AFK for a little bit um, and go get coffee. See if I can actually, like, finish a battle like that. I don't want to mark here. I guess, like, what I can do is bind in Zenda or something. Oof. Okay, no, 
I'll switch to this one. I'll bind in St. Bonobos. Just in case I die. Doesn't take super long to get here. You know? I can understand using the transporter to, like, Valencia or whatever, where it takes a while to get there. Not too long. Just, just slightly longer. You don't really have to go to Valencia very much. I think for, like, a couple promotion quests, but... Other than that, like... Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll put on automate companions, fight some jellyfish. But uh, I have it on, right? Well, hold on. The jellyfish are pretty far apart. I don't know if I'll be able to... Optimized or um, get the automated. Uh. Oh, yeah, um. The crossbows actually do shoot out different projectiles. They pretty obviously added these spark guns because you can't have guns in a kid's game, right? But no, you can ha you can have crossbows. All right, I'll I'll stand like right here and just leave it on. I don't know if I should pause the recording or not. I think I should. Um. Yeah, I'll just I'll just go AFK for a bit. Get some coffee.
Alright, I'm back. Oh, those are cool weapons. Mega hit. That's cool. I love that crossbow. I might actually just use that. I, I was thinking of stitching it with the pistols, you know, because I'm doing cool ranch, but... Um, no, that's, those sounds are awesome. Alright, nice. Back to Tom Tinkney. In Skull Island. Now I'll switch to the ship. Yeah, you're welcome for getting your fucking jellyfish acid from Monkista. Jeez. He's got a pretty good location. Right next to the PvP hall. That's a high traffic area. Was that? Oh, good. This is just the stuff. I'll be ready to start making yum very soon. There's only one thing I need. I'll let you in on my secret. Ooh. The hardest part of yum making is that it's labor intensive. Squeezing a fruit by hand requires a dozen workers for each bottle. <clears throat> I'm gonna use a machine, a juicer, that can squeeze hundreds of yum yum fruit an hour. Lucius Fox drew up the plans for me. Hmm. He's a genius. They should have it by now. Can you run over to Gullet and bring it back? Once that machine is here, the operation can begin. Alright. Um, yeah, you talk to Lucius Fox a lot for, um... ...for quests. I think these crossbows are so cool that I'm just going to use them. Alright. Oops. Skull Island Skyway, might as well use the raft. This 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 baby's fuel efficient. I actually don't even. Well, it's definitely slower than the uh, bison frigate, but uh, I think its size actually lends to its speed. Oh yeah, my favorite music. Jonathan. I kinda wish there was more to do here, to be honest. Such a cool location. Tom Tinkney sent you? Well, I've been trying to find a machine that will do what he wants, but there's some kind of delay. It hasn't arrived yet. Tom purchased the machine from a Mr. Perkins in Cool Ranch. He's an engineer who lives in Junction. Do you know the place? Yep. You've got a fast ship. Why don't you sail over to Cool Ranch and see what the trouble is? Oh, I don't need to sail there. Um, 
I think it's fast enough to get to Lucius Fox. It's more of a pain to get to uh, to get back to Cool Ranch, I think. I'll take the stagecoach to Junction. over there. Good day, stranger. What's that? Oh, Lucius Fox sent you. Well, I, I don't want any trouble. Hmm? It's not ready. Not quite. I have a machine that will almost serve a fine steam engine, uh, but it doesn't have the squeezes needed for, uh, well, I, it's complicated. You could get some high-grade mechanical grippers from a mining machine, but there aren't any left, uh, at least not any working ones. There are several wrecked mining machines in the sandstone mine down on the canyon floor. Too dangerous for me to go, but you seem a sturdy sort. Well, thank you. It's this one, right? Sandstone mines. I better put the. Uh... Wait, is it? Is it behind the waterfall? That might be. I like it when there are enemies standing still like that, instead of just walking around aimlessly. It's through here. Right? Put on the quest marker, quest hero, quest helper. Seems like it's somewhere in here, though. Hey, I remember you. Look here, boys. It's that pirate who ran us out of Cooper's Roost. We got us a score to settle. You're welcome to try. You remember how it ended up last time, right? Okay, he's got a lot of health. I'll put a thing up there. Do this. Ratbeard will go here, Milder. Second chance. Fantastic. Great. 
Alright, do I, I don't have a heal, unfortunately. Get rid of that. I'll have to snipe. Oh, I think I'll discard. Hit him with a trick shot. He's really low on health, Milo. I'll have Milo go over here with this, uh... Squishy boy. Oh yeah, super hit. Get him. Squeezers. <laughs> there, we've got our squeezers. Let's take this lot and the big engine back to Lucius. Our squeezers. There's a chest up there. Companions back on. Maybe I should have first mate. Spawny is always handy. What now? Back to Lucius.
back to Lucius, not this guy. I don't even know what to call this episode, to be honest, because I didn't get that much done in, the, in terms of the story. Pretty much just went to Scorpion Rock. Um, uh. Figured out that I have to. Well, hmm. I don't know what to call it. Maybe. Because it has something to do with. Learning about Captain Blood. Good, you're back. Here, I'll attach these new pieces to the original engine, and everything should be in order. That's done. Mr. Tickney's machine is ready. I'm very curious to see if it works. Good luck. Thank you, Lucius. Now I'll talk to Tickney. Talk to Tickney. Tom Tickney. Out of a cartoon. It's working! Well done, Milo. You and your captain have saved me livelihood. Here's a bit of coin for all your troubles. Hey. I'm also counting you as partners. If my yum takes off, there'll be more gold coming your way. Wish us luck. You had me at gold. Yo ho ho and a bottle of yum. To work I go. Aye. Yo, let's celebrate! To it heaven! Oh, I love Milo. He's so wholesome. Okay. Good old cracking skulls. <laughs> Man, that, I never really realized that the Kraken Skulls Tavern was like a pun, because you know Kraken Skulls, like you know hitting people. But no, it's it's like a Kraken. I I think uh, well the Kraken is from mythology, I think. But anyways, it's a creature in Wizard 101 too. What's good, Milo? I'm a businessman now, eh, Captain? With any luck, Tom's operational takeoff. And we'll be rich enough to stop adventuring. What? Don't have any plans of doing that. 
Assuming, of course, that we wanted to stop adventuring, but I'm not ready to quite yet. Me neither. Let's resume it then. Alright. Now he's got an upgraded appearance. I believe you can give him two epics. So yeah, Milo is a pretty unique swashbuckler companion because he can get Cheap Shot 3, which if you don't know, um, has a chance to immobilize enemies when you attack them with it. But I'm not going to give him that quite yet because he can't actually get it. So what I'll do is I'll give him Relentless. He can also get Vengeance Strike, but that's not super useful because Vengeance Strike is designed more for Buccaneers, obviously. Um, and for units that can actually take damage. Milo's pretty squishy, um, but he also dodges a lot too, you know, because he's a swashbuckler. He can't get Repost though. Um, Repost would be an interesting choice, but give him Relentless too. Get some good chains on him and just have him travel with me for a while. Yes, Captain. All right. I think I can close by fighting these buffaloon. Because, um, I don't know, I thought about uh, getting the episodes to be shorter, but I kind of like the two, two and a half mark. Um. Mm. Go over to Cooper's Roost. And, you know, since there's a little little time left until two and a half, I might as well finish it off by fighting the buffaloon, just so I can add add to the footage. Not necessarily pad it out, but I would rather instead of having to start the next recording on fighting buffaloon, you know, because that'd be kind of boring, I guess. Um, I'd have it like end by fitting as much. Uh, stuff in there as I can. Let's fight some buffalo. Oh yeah, I hit, I hit random. Forgot about that. Um, Ducky traps, barricaded. Yeah, I don't like this ship's battlefield at all. It's really bad for Musketeer, because I can't fucking see. Um... Probably just super hit. Or no, I should, yeah, I should uh, walk in shadows, and then... Probably just hit those guys. Hit. Move up here. I, I think I might actually trigger my Overwatch, which sucks, yeah. So if you're hidden, your Overwatch still works, so you kind of waste your hide. Yeah. But I don't know. Well, hold on. No, he'll- no, wrap here to block him off. I think. That's going to be the best option. Hit, that. hit him with that. Hit. Hit. Shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, I really like those crossbows. I like that bison guy because he's. I would. I would say he. His role is more of like a sniper or a single target type fellow. Yeah, with with the quick adjust. So he'll just do like a pretty much guaranteed high amount of damage. That's it. You know, he won't get any chains. Okay. Now we're in a bit of a better spot. Hold on. 
Oh yeah, I could uh, have Milo now. Let's see. Don't need the barricade, I don't think. I think I get agility buff and then hit him. Hit and hit. Agility doesn't really help wing, but gets lots of extra critical for your drill bunny. Get him. I guess these buffaloon are getting to be under under level. <laughs> Swale. Hit. Hi, Hit. Yeah, they're, they're only level 13, 14. Big brain move. Hopefully this will work. Yes. Alright, I took care of these buffalo for you. Thank you kindly. I think you taught those buffaloons to stay out of these parts. I sure hope so. A thief's been pilfering our little town in the wee hours of the morning. Just last night, he robbed the general store of every last crumb. <laughs> Coward. We call him the Midnight Bandit on account he comes round at midnight. It makes sense. I'm looking for someone to rid the town of him. You think you got the courage? Of course I do. Go find the midnight bandit before he creeps into town and snatches any more of our supplies. All right, so this is actually the guy um, that I fought uh. or that I farmed. Let's try and get some boots. Hopefully I'll get lucky, but... Knowing Pirate 101, probably I won't. So he's like over here. Go this way. Night Bandit. Okay. Put a, tra put a trap here? Or on the, yeah, on this side. 
Bring her forward, buff, trap, over, over here. I don't know, over here? No, right here. Fortunately, the, your traps don't actually stack. Is he gonna cower in the corner? Or snipe him before he does. Watch this. Yes. Sack coat. I did get an ability piece, but uh, nothing good. I'll get some better boots eventually. Any boots that give like an item card, that's what I want. Cause that that will last me a while. that thief we'll be able to sleep a little safer at night knowing that the midnight bandits under lock and key right stranger we are awash in a sea of troubles what with the bison the bandy toads and the red sashes the rangers can't hardly keep the peace yeah uh. But that ain't all. I got an escaped outlaw in my hands. Somebody busted Liberty Valance out of jail and near killed my deputy in the process. Liberty Valance. I'm looking to deputize you to take up the slack. Hmm. I hear you're worth your salt, but reckon there's only one way to find out. You get Liberty Valance back here where he belongs. Start by checking with Deputy Ford over at Dr. Coop's. If Ford's woke up, he might help. Okay. My patience nears its end, stranger. Maybe you're nothing but a tenderfoot after all. Go get Valance and get him quick.
Not so fast, deputy, is it? Mr. Ford is awake, but still in dire need of rest. A few words, and no more. Don't remember much, stranger. They gave me a good knock on the head. There was, a uh, a weasel. He did all the talking. Hmm. They got the jump on me and, uh, hit me from behind. As I was passing out, I heard someone say, All aboard, Bertie. There ain't been any trains in Cooper's Roost for years, but there's still a station. Thanks. Get well soon. Look here. There's footprints going in and out. Somebody's holed up in there, Captain. Let's go get him. At your command. <laughs> That you, Monterey Jack? You're early. <laughs> I already took care of him. It ain't Jack, you fools. It's the law. I'm out of here. You boys get him. I don't know. I might have old Scratch Ghost scavenging or whatever. <clears throat> I don't really like using him. Ooh, wish I had the tram. Could get that guy right away. Oh, brother. Best option, just to snipe him. Old Scratch gets a promotion pretty soon, too. Run away. We've got to go find him. Oh boy. Ooh, I think I might end the recording there. <laughs> nice cliffhanger. We'll see you in the next one.